Thank you, Mr. Creer. We have long waited this day. We appreciate you joining and starting our day off for us along with the OMBC dancers. Who The OMBC dance troupe has been with us for several years now. And usually we just get the children. This year we're, we're going to have representatives of both, as you saw, the adults, the drum team, and, and the children. So it's a community. We're all family, and, and it's good to feel everyone joining in with us today. And and what I'm doing, quite frankly, I'm stalling a couple minutes because I'd like to. I'm waiting for uh, Commis Commissioner McCurdy to come up, and we're going to bring him in. He's going. We're going to let him do his speaking because I'm sure he has a bunch of. Uh, of attendees, the places he needs to be, so we're going to let him take his time and come up and join out. There he is. And while I'm waiting for him, I'd like to thank his father, Mr. William McCurdy Sr. First, I, I lose track of these numbers. I did the same thing with my husband. He was Mac Loving Jr. and the Junior Jr. and then we had the, the third and the fourth. So uh, these little tracks, got to keep track of them, but we have the commissioner here. He has been with us since Dr. Myers and I caught him in a parking lot about eight years ago. He was coming out of a meeting and, and we somehow had his, we, I still don't know how we did, but we got his cell phone number. And he says, I can't talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the car. We're like, well, we wanna tell you about Juneteenth. He listened and he's been with us. Thank you, we're bringing in the commissioner now. Thank you, Mr. McCurdy. Let us go ahead and give Dee Evans and the, Net, the Nevada Juneteenth Foundation for all their work in making sure that we have this signed as a, a federal law today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, won't, I won't be before you long because we know the history of Juneteenth. We know that it was years after that the last slaves received word in Galveston, Texas, that they were free. We also know that this message was not welcomed with roses and, and, and flowers and, 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 and a hooray by the slave owners, but they were met by Union soldiers who had to accompany that message to them to let them know that these people are free. Speak on it, brother. Now, we know that we can say it's been far too long for us to recognize this as a federal holiday, but let us think about what's actually really possible now. Some would say that we need to have a much more detailed conversation about Juneteenth and what followed. We know that in 1862, the slave owners were compensated $300 per piece of property that they lost. Let's talk about the work ahead. While I'm grateful that this day will never be forgotten in American history, I'm more inspired by the conversations that are going to take place all across this nation to ensure that our children are properly educated on their history. If we do not teach our young people about where we've come from, we could possibly go backwards. Exactly. Never no more. I will say that we will never go back to the lashings for not doing the free work. Never no more. We will never go back to the blood that was spilled in the sea on the way over. We will never go back because we will educate ourselves. Let us not take this day off, but let's, all, let's take this day back on to educate our youth, to literally have a conversation and think critically about where we want to go in this country. Now, you can call me commissioner, you can call me former assemblyman, you can call me former Nevada State Chairman of the Democratic Party, but none of that means nothing if we don't pass policies that will ensure that our youth can access a quality of life that they will be able to pass forward to future generations to come. Let us all do our part. This is 
much more than words. I am committed to this work. I am honored to represent this district in which my family has been here since the late 30s, early 40s. But I envision a day where this area of town will be the area that folks come to to experience black culture, black history. This will be the tourism destination for folks who want to witness what we contribute to not only Nevada, but this United States of America. This will be the cultural district where we have black businesses that flourish like the businesses on Wall Street. That is my vision. So let us not just occupy a seat and take up space, but let us do the work that we know many have done before we even had an opportunity to grace this earth so that we can enjoy this day. Someone gave a little blood. Someone paid that sacrifice. We owe them a debt for allowing us That's right. to sit comfortably within the air condition. That's right. To experience our culture through dance and song and food and music. Some will say that's Dr. Dreams, Dr. King's dream brought to reality. But I will say that it is a deposit on what can be in the future. Exactly. So I thank you for allowing me to join you and let us realize that we are all standing on the shoulders of those who have paved the way, who have blazed a trail for us today. Let us respect each other more. Love each other more. Protect each other more. Lift each other up more. Because if we don't have self-love, we have nothing. The greatest thing that has happened in this society is the miseducation of the Negro. Amen. Not knowing your history. Yes, sir. Having the unchecked opportunity to craft what we know. Yes, sir. And then test us on what we have been taught, which does not reflect our history in America. I was not expected to speak today but I have been doing my part in educating myself to do more, not only for myself, not only for my family, but for my community. Yes. Let us do more. And let us go out and create. Let's, uh, let us go out and prosper. And let us go out and live free in these Americans.